Yes, one. was able to come here this evening. So therefore it was unlikely, right from the get-go, that you would get specific answers to all of your questions. That was never going to be the case. Where we're, where what we're trying to do tonight is to give as many people as possible an opportunity to put on record what their concerns are. Now, it may well be the case that you'll need another meeting or more <coughs> in order to get the answers that you do. Well, hold on a second, hold on a second, please. Hold on a second, please. Hold on a second, please. That you deserve. And that may take a little bit of time. But we've already heard tonight that the application may be able to be appealed. Now normally the, the, the situation is that when a planning application is posted, there is a limit of a time limit stated on the application for objections. And I suspect that time limit has been greatly exceeded. Mm -hmm. Because according to the European paper, it was actually submitted in May. Uh, but there, there now seems to be grounds for an appeal because of the lack of the rigour of the application process, the planning application process. Oh, yes. Yes, Anna. Thank you. Yes. I mean, I, I think, you know, it's really perplexing all that's going on. Um, I would have thought if people really felt that there had been communication, they, they may have been then surprised as to why there was no debate at surgery. Why was nobody raising this issue? Why was it not a discussion between terms? Because people didn't know about it. It was in any way. In terms of where we are just now, the idea of an appeal in fact, the community, frankly, uh, you know, that an appeal is, is a legal process, requires you know, money up front and all the rest of it. Rather, uh, it seems to be in the way that the council has gone about this, both with regard to planning, both with regard to consulting with the community, and also with regard to the way in which the council has failed to deal with its arms and body in terms of proper governance procedures. Surely it is now up to the council to respond to the clear views of the local people and put this process on pause uh -huh. to see what we yeah. can do. Oh. Yeah. process of appeal, I wouldn't expect any community to go through that appeal process. <coughs> so if there is a problem with regards to the way that things have been consulted, the council, as far as I'm concerned, that's got to sit in the council's executive, is my view is that we need to pause it. But we need to we need to get to the we need to get beyond the point that we're saying there's been a problem because we know that there's a problem there. There's no of, there's nobody saying in this process. So for me, there's, there's two things really coming on the back of this that was actually kicked off prior to today because we knew, and that is a formal investigation of the Chief Executive with regards to the operation of the consultation process. And the second thing is because there's, there is another issue, an internal <coughs> investigation within the Council with regards to information that was provided inappropriately to the community which is added to that, that confusion. So there's, there's two aspects there. We, we are clearly going to be asking for the Chief Executive to investigate both of those processes. So, then, just, just, so, so, so that, that's our view. Okay. That's our view. There's no objection in regards to the consultation process. Not I'm there. comfortable that you feel, Mark, in speaking for your colleagues on the Council when you say what you just said. Well, with regards to what? I mean, that, that has been our... our, our the, 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 the two points you just made about inadequacy <coughs> of consultation, about the, yeah. uh, the, the, the studies to establish yeah. what the problem is so it doesn't repeat it, get repeated, but also your point about the, the fact that the application ought now 
uh, be suspended. No. I think you've got to be careful what we're saying. The, the, the process, the application process, yep. goes on, and I think is effectively nearly complete. So the planning application process, however, that's only one of the processes that are in, that, that are that result in the delivery of a new burden as part of that process. So what we would need to do is we need to ascertain, get to the get, understand exactly why that consultation process that, wasn't clear. Yeah. But, and, and then understand, work with the community, and that's why we're yeah. here tonight, yeah. to work with the community to see what we could do to address the issues yeah. the community yeah. are yeah. problem with. I understand that. I think what I think what people yeah. here tonight want above everything else is the fact that they want to hear somebody in authority say this application is here with suspended. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 On referring to the planning application, the planning application is only one. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. But I think what people would like to hear tonight from somebody in authority is that the process is suspended until this, these various measures are put in place. Let me be clear here as well. We have Mr. Chairman, we can't hear up. Tell me, stand up. We that stand up. Stand up. What's the reason? There's no need for that. So, could we, could we, so, so I, I, I just need to be clear. So, w what we're saying is, th there's, there's, th we're on a path, and uh, that path at the moment will deliver a new eight million, eight point one million pound investment in to local amenities. One point eight. 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 One point eight million. Into into local. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for me, I don't want to stop all of that investment. You know, there's there's bits here. The objection uh, that we're that we're listening to at the moment is around the the main building, the main visitor centre. Can I ask? Is the, is it not just that, or is it the no, wider issue around the other bits and bobs? No, no. 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 Whole we absolutely accept that, but what we're trying to do is we're trying. I'm absolutely accepting that there was the, the consultation process. I don't think oh, anybody's object. Oh, oh, right? Everyone wants. Uh, so that's what we're trying to. Yeah. What do we do in order to move it forward? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Can I make a suggestion, please, Mark? Right, okay, well. Okay. I think you can pretty much gauge how everybody's feeling with what, what it is mm -hmm. that they want. Can we have a bit more transparency in the future? Can we have Absolutely. the advisory board set back up with the same people again? They'll be treated with a wee bit more respect this time. And we, uh, we uh, who will go back onto the advisory board, if the rest of them agree, Peter and that agree, we will go to the meetings and we will relay every bit of information that we get back to the forum, back to the community council, back to the groups and on their social media sites so that everybody in the area knows what's happening. I think we can't make this mistake again. Absolutely. If this is going to go forward, and if, even if it is stopped at the minute and then meetings take place going forward about how, how it's going to be done. We should be there at every um, single time okay. to ensure that this Agreed. doesn't happen again because this is how I feel about this one. This place and that country park down there deserves better. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Can I add to that? When this committee is set up again, the advisory board for the local medals, there must be an opposition councillor on that board. No, 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 don't pretend you don't know about it, you know. No. Can I just say, people, excuse me, excuse me, can I just say, it's not the council's fault. FCCT have failed us. They haven't had advisory board meetings. 
we haven't had a board meeting since March last year. So how if, we, if, we if we get asked, we attend. If we get asked, we get attend. Should you be demanding? Now, why do you do that? Should you be demanding? Hold, hold, hold. Yeah, we've got a question on it. Hold on, just a second. Do you want to understand that his answer is an anger here as well? I understand that. But we don't, we don't get, we don't get a result of the anger if we simply all shout at each other. Yes, sir. I'll take a question from over here. Sorry, the people in the United States by countryside that trust, and we already know that these are they're owned by Pipe Council. So surely if the Pipe Countryside Trust is at fault, we should be dissolved and return back to Pipe Council so it's proper That's an idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Just to go back on your point, when when on three occasions, when the five, when the trust turn around and says we'll not be putting any money in because I don't know if they put in for funding, but I'm just wondering why the five council didn't come to a group, a local group within the community, to say, well, look, could you apply for funding? And they didn't. So can I just be clear here? And, and this is one of the criticisms that I, I don't think is legitimate for the trust is the fact that they didn't raise money because the trust don't have additional funds. They've got to go out and, and get that for the funding bodies. The funding bodies need to have funds available and what we've seen over the last few years is cuts to the funding bodies that would normally fund these types of projects. And that was and, and that is the current situation today. So that's what I'm a bit concerned about. If we pause there isn't any sign of additional funding coming in at any point in the line. Yeah, I, I think you point up to Sorry, I'd like to say... Yes, sir. Okay. There's a minute here I went in front of the board, the trust board. It was sent by Amanda McFarland. And the trust, this is a reply to the, the suggestions that uh, she was making. The main concern was less capacity in the new building was felt to be an issue. That's the trust board. But I believe they've got a subcommittee. <laughs> now, there's, there's, an, there's another one here. The design of the building was pleasing to some members of the board and not to the others. So, we didn't get a choice. They got a choice. It took me ages to get my hands on that. Their office, Lord Nobet says, they should all be in the public domain. So we hear what's going on here. This is a, I'll repeat it again, it's a total shambles. Right, uh, can I ask, Mark, Mark has proposed a number of measures uh, to address this. So can I, I come back on some yeah. of that? Yeah. Oh. 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 No, 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 that's it, I'm sorry, no. I think there's a, there's, there's a lot of feeling here tonight that that we have in some way looking to try and subvert the work of the community. That's absolutely not at all. Actually, we wouldn't be sitting in this room if it wasn't for us going and putting the funding together. We had a clear commitment to make sure we got funding, put it together and invested in the part. And I think there needs to be some understanding that we would not have done that but, but, if that was something, if the part wasn't yeah, something that we had marked yeah, us. Understand. What we want to do is make sure we do it right. Uh, and we want to make sure we're doing it with the community. <laughs> so, so one of the clear things that have really failed here is a consultation process. But what I think we, we would have kind of missed a trick tonight if we don't hear what some of the issues are with the design. We've got the architect here and it would be good to get an understanding with regards to what changes we would like to start to see made to that design to make it fit for purpose for the community? Yeah. I, th I think we've got... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's a great idea. It's a great idea, but it strikes me as somewhat unwieldy to ask a whole bunch of folks to come up and look at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. My suggestion to you is this. Yeah. Would this be acceptable? And that is that a group of people appointed by the folks here actually spend some time with the designer on the design and, and give you some feedback. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. So you're happy with that? Okay. That, so that, I'll that, leave it to you to, to organise that, that. that. That would also mean that the process is The language is obviously important here. Uh, the, 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 the feeling in this room right now is that 
people would be very happy with the recommendations you've made, Mark. But the difficulty is that they're very concerned that there are two parallel tracks here, and you need to help address this, I would suggest. One is that, uh, that the process that you've outlined seems to be, <coughs> uh, seems to be general agreement, that there should be the, the studies you suggested, etc., 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 and, and to avoid uh, <coughs> throwing out the, ba the baby with the bathwater uh, in terms of funding, etc. And I think people accept that. But where their concern lies, it seems to me anyway, is that this parallel process that's going on, right, somehow there's another process of decision making which is carrying on regardless of what people hear from them. And that's that one thing. And they don't see the connection between the two. And they're, they're very happy, I suspect, or happy with some of your ideas. But what they're unhappy about is the notion that, well, that, well you're busy doing this, somebody else, who knows who, because it hasn't been identified, is carrying on this parallel path which will lead to an ultimate decision and even when you've reported back it's too late because you've missed that that's, that's people's concern if I can try and summarise it is that right? Yes. Uh, so, so, can I, so can I come back on that because I think that's a good summary of the position that we're in just now right? so the, the, so this track is going along we're running on that track what we're saying is we need to we need to start that in game or at least review the designs that we've currently got and bring forward additional changes to that design. We need to understand does that require additional funding? Now, Alec and I and, and Mary spoke to the uh, leader of the council. He says, Look, if there is designs come forward with regards to the, 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 the building from the community tonight, we will look to source additional funds you know, in order to make that happen. So, so that, you know, that's a commitment for us. And again, that's reinforcing the commitment that we've already spoken about. Is that we put the one point in, and I think more than the money that we put in for the investment, and this is the bit that probably sickens me the most out of all of this, is that is at the same time that we put in the million pounds uh, for the for the new visitor centre, we also also put in an additional revenue uplift of one hundred and twenty-eight thousand pounds a year to support the development of the plans for the park. And if you look at that, and look at what's happened over that period of time, I'm appalled at what's going on. And, and, you know, I will be, and that's why we've asked for these investigations into why this has been worked, and why that has been worked. Can I just finish? Hold on a second, hold on a second. From speaking to the people at the moment, what we're saying is there's, there's some slack in the plan. So there's not, 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 or not. That's, that's the proposal I would come back to. Because, because what that does, what that does is, uh, I know that we've got the football teams here, and we've got the golf team, the golf club there. We, what we don't want to do is to delay the building, uh, other buildings uh, within there, because you know, obviously the golf club want to make sure that they've, that they've got a facility for the season. So what we're saying is, could we be smart? And, and what we're saying is, we're not taking a decision tonight to halt, but what we're saying is... Oh, yeah. Demolition starts tomorrow. You invite someone to answer your questions, you'd have to give them a courtesy of a proper answer. So what, what I'm saying is that we've got a period of time, two, three weeks possibly, where if we were to get together and if we were able to get something that would do, we could carry on. But if that if we get to that point, and at that point, we still know happy as a community with regards to the building that was going ahead. Well, then we had to pause it. Mr. Chairman. That, can, I, can I ask it? Is that generally acceptable? No. 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 Is that not a demolitional stop tomorrow? Is that what you're saying? So I'm not yeah, sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, that, I'm not sure where you're hearing that the demolition is starting tomorrow. On the website. So the demolition is the start. As I originally was the 15th of November. That's not. 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 That's
feel that the building being demolished as it, as it stands at the moment. Mr. Chairman, you ask a question? Well, just a second, sir, just to summarise. It's very important. You, 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 I would suggest to you you've had a, a major and very helpful, constructive uh, response. Uh, in essence, uh, the suggestion is that there's, there's going to be a community consultation of a kind that hasn't taken place up until now. Correct. Right. Now, my question to you is that do you, do you feel that that's an acceptable way forward? No. No. You want more time, but you've been yeah. told that there won't be more time. There will be at least two or three weeks. Well, so what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, we don't need the decision. We're going to pause it until a few weeks. Do we still have the control? Yes, that's, yes. Ex that's essentially what that. Well, we'll convene this meeting again and we'll make a decision before no, we move forward. No, you know I know that's new. Oh, and then. Well, well, what do you mean by. Oh, I'll say. The commitment that's been made. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. The commitment that's been made is that there will now be a thorough consultation with the community, i.e. with you. Right? <laughs> and, 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 at, and at the end of that process, if there is still great unhappiness with the building, then that building will be suspended. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Part of the problem is we don't know what changes we need to make to that design to understand if it's going to be suitable for everybody. So you've had a commitment. No, it's not a commitment. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, that's not going for things. People are hearing what I'm just saying. People are going for this. Well, you've heard from me. Just give me that. Just give me that. With respect. You're sorry, but I'm going to be done. That's not what I have, sir. I have a clear commitment. Two questions over here. I don't feel the commitments is... It's not giving us any dates. I suggest that we go with your idea and we put it on hold for a He's while, up. Yeah. get committees up and running, public meetings up and running, so yeah, yeah. yeah. we come Sunday mm -hmm. yeah. and not a vague, you can have two or three weeks right. to yeah. 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 We want more what than was, that. What we're seeing? And we want actually brought up to date on the Larkin consultation no. that's been for about a year now. So, so you can't just come here and give us a couple of weeks and think we're, we're going to go on okay and go away with that. We're wanting longer so, so to be able to communicate with each other. So that's not what we're doing. So, so I, I, you, you're prepared to give people time to, you want to do a further consultation, that's right, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, we want to find out and get a design in the way. Could I follow you up? Could I just say, yeah, just Mark, just you admit that you're seeing the whole bit there, we are looking for a change, so your plan application is null and void anyway. Right. What degree of changes? So that's, that's the question I'm, I've asked. I think. Well, a couple of things. What are you turning as a what I said? The body of the hall is going for bigger. Good. Bigger. bigger. Yeah. Climb them all. Oh, okay. Softly. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You, you can't speak up to your call. Right. The situation is that uh, you've, been, you've had a commitment that there will be a further consultation. Yes, and if you're not happy at the end of that period, yeah. uh, then the plug will be pulled. Is that right? Well, we won't be happy. We need to take the community with us. Yeah, you are. That, that, you know, so at the end of the day, we, we've never started this process with a view not to. We've been let down. And I think, uh, we'll make the point. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We will make the point. 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 We will make the And the investigation is that I carried out with regards to how we've arrived at this point. Because I think you, as a community, deserve an answer to yeah. why this didn't happen. Who's going to do this investigation? Surely when this was started, there was other plans put forward that to be considered. This was the, this couldn't be the only plan. No, there was another. So if there were other plans put in, can you not look at them to make say that's a monstrosity? Okay. This is what we want. Okay. Why do we not ask? The plans can't have disappeared. Yeah. I, I think we've got an answer of sorts. Okay. You're right, John. There was, there was a there was a another set of plans put in by Bob Purvis. He was asked on behalf of the trust. I think it was. It was a bigger building than that one. It was also a bigger building than the one that serves us now. It was more money. It wasn't a lot of money. I think it was something like in the region of about two hundred thousand pounds, which I think. Could have been easily got. Yeah. So, can I, so the, those plans are on a shelf something. So can I it wouldn't be the case, Mr. Chairman, it wouldn't so be, be the case that that building would be finished April, May, just in time for the council elections. And then we get your point in the town. 
No, no. I don't it's no finishing till June. It's not, it's not, it's not, that's speculation. No, no, no. That's one one. That's right, it's again pushed through. Sorry, just, I mean, just to be clear. Yeah, 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 we wouldn't be sitting in this room if we hadn't voted for this. You done it right in the first place. No, no. There's a, there's a decision taken in February 2014, and there's people in this room voted no to put in the money. Right? That there's been absolutely no public outcry about that. We stood against it and made sure that the money came in. And we will make sure that we get something that the community can be proud of, a design that we can be proud of. We're not going to push ahead with this. We'll make sure that we, we get... But I am conscious that there's that the football clubs and the golf club have waited a long time to get us to this position. And I will just... I, I, I want to make sure that, that we understand that there's... That, 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 there isn't a pain-free option in stopping that. that. There is a problem. I, I, mean, I, I think they've made that down. point several times. Uh, yes, lady at the back. Sorry. Oh, no, no, sorry. Not you, sir. The lady at the back. I realise what you're saying. You said earlier we had 1.8 million set aside for this area. Right? So obviously you've got some of that in your mark for the movies. So maybe, maybe. It's all for the movies. Right? So I can't see why you can't. Because I'm hoping you can't say something about it anyway. Don't put it in. Right? You're saying that if you put it on hold for three weeks so we can get together, discuss it, come back to you. What happens if something happens in between? And it almost bear-shaped, who's accountable? Where does yeah, that come from? So, I don't understand. You're saying that you're putting it on three weeks so we can all get together, come back to you and decide time. But what happens if something happens between now and three weeks that I start getting together? Then, and it goes bear-shaped, who's accountable? So, what's going to happen? Can I just be clear? What do you anticipate, Mike? What do you anticipate might happen? Yeah, we're not happy with what's happening. I'm not asking you with respect. What, what, what do you think might happen? Just well, help us. They're already saying that some people say that it's starting tomorrow, and others are saying it's not, right? But they're saying in the paper that it's in the end. Somebody's still blaming that. So what happens if that stuff happens even in the living room tomorrow, but next week? The, the, tender, the tender would need to be an issue. The tender hasn't been issued to the contractor to knock the building down. That hasn't happened yet. So that it can't be not done until the issue is in. Some things, some things, some things. Yes, sir. Okay. Hold on a second, please. please. Yes. No, 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 sorry. I'm not. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not having this. Right. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm going to ask you uh, to be a genuine commitment. If you want to be genuine in your, your consultation with the public, if you wouldn't mind bringing this other design in and letting us actually hear a look at that, yeah. and maybe actually give us some perspective. <laughs> Uh, I think, that, I think what we can do is make sure that, that has that a design is shared with, the, with the, the, your group and you can put up on your, your page so you can have a look at your Facebook page. But we'll do more times. So so you need to ask about that. Ah, I'll go. The kids are still a base funds for a skate park. Absolutely. So if it was to improve the community, we would put, we would be able to put it in. Please don't just force what well, I would see is a turn bumping on us. I'd like to see a bigger choice. And, and, and I think that's what we're seeing, well, isn't that's it? That's a great time. Yes, sir. Question here. I, I think what's going on is... Jim Rose. I think what's going on is it's, it's clear of the discontent in the whole today. There are so many concerns. The only answer is, I think, is to, is to suspend things immediately. Well, you, you've had a commitment. Oh, but that is just a lot. No, no, I mean, I draw the whole thing to a halt. Obviously, the, obviously the planning procedure is faulty. Well, that, that would appear to be the case. But that so, so you've got to go back to the beginning. Well, and the only way you can do that is put the whole thing on the hold. You've had a commitment that there will be consultation. Uh, it's difficult to read to see how you can market it. Yes, Can I ask, with the whole sort of process that's figured, they're finding themselves in this position now, that... What would have been the natural length of time for to start a process of this? And why now can we not go back to the beginning no, exactly. of that process? Because for me, I think, I'm feeling that there is, there's a lot of sort of anxiety within the room and obviously within the community as well. There's also been a breach of sort of, well, I suppose, there does not feel a safeness and there's a breach of trust round about sort of the, the council and who's responsible and things like that. And obviously with an internal investigation with the council. And I think for me, I just didn't feel safe with the process now. No. So for to say that it's going to take two to three weeks, for me that just doesn't no. feel... 
supportive enough uh, or concerning enough to the element of anxiety and how people feel, you know. So what would a natural, you know, if this was to be done properly, how long would a, pro a project like this take? I mean, I'm not in the construction, nor, but what is the natural lifespan of this? It can't be two to three weeks. I think what we've been doing is a, a breakdown, a sort of trust, a breakdown, you just no feel safe and there's no being any confidence. I and, that point, yeah. Thank you. Gavin, would you be able to speculate on an answer to that question? What is the uh, normal length of time for a project of this nature? No, uh, the proposal for three, two to three weeks would we would definitely get a bill to show what was intended. We've, we've done a lot of work in the background with the trust in terms of what's feasible, what's all, what the type of facilities are required. They're the envisaged being required, and then we'd also be able to hear what the community has to say in the first meeting. And we can you know, always turn things around. I would probably be instructed to turn things around incredibly quickly in terms of producing uh, amended designs to yeah. incorporate the suggestions once we've explained I've not had tonight, but the chance to explain how the building would intended to operate now. I think for me it's just more in relation to keeping the community groups in that and that and I think, I think, that's that's yeah, I think that's all. Uh, let me ask the, one of the community groups, since we have them here, is the golf club represented here? Yes, we are. Sir, yeah. could I ask you if you were a comment on this? Yeah. Could you stand up please and give us your name? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Two projects are intertwined together, so obviously we had we were building our puppies alone, and then we sort of Mark we got the extra funding, the federal club had funding. Our our puppies wouldn't have been fit. The, the guys in the federal club had a, obviously a, a place that was unfit for puppies, so they decided that to try to draw the two projects together, and obviously then get a, a decent uh, pavilion. So obviously new. Fund that we got the, the legacy fund, the club have put a substantial amount of money in it. I think the Astros have got a fund in The time scale and these are we are doing because we've actually like, we've been about two, two years hanging out with this money and the feet told for so, only so long we can say. How, how, sorry, how, how, just about information, how long do you have? Well, I think exactly time is obviously the Scotland how long. They, they have indicated that the money has to be spent, so we might lose maybe 90,000 90, 90, after there, after then it starts using it, after then it starts using it. Sorry, well, so, well, how much? Sorry, <coughs> I understand. So there are, there are substantial, sorry, are you saying there are substantial sums of money involved? Yes. Which, if, which, sorry? sorry. Yeah, that 100, 150,000 plus. There was about 200,000, the trust is well put money there, the multi-trust put money there, and they're getting that money there. And are you saying, so I'm clear, are you saying these funds are in jeopardy? Some of the funds, yeah. Okay. If there is a delay. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, and that's sorry, what I'm saying. Sorry, just, just, two, just two minutes. Wait, um, hold on a second. Hold on, please, please, sir. Uh, so what, what, when, when is the, what is the time limit on those funds? To elapse, as it were. Well, hold on a second. We've got it's, a second. it's the end of March. End, end of March. It's the end of March. So we, we need to have invoice that money by the end of March. And, and that is an extension of 12 months that we've had already. And if, you know, something, we've, we've done a lot of work over the recent years with Sports Scotland. I could go away and start to speak to them to make sure that we don't lose that money. We, we have invested as a local authority quite a bit in sport facilities uh, over the last five years, so I would like to think that we, we've got a bit of come and go, but we need to bear that in mind, that there might be a loss in the money. There's always uh, a lot of change to the, to the actual course as well, because if you're going to change to a new pavilion, the course is going to get, uh, obviously, the jigs of the boot, so the things and Obviously, in place like Scorpio, everything that's not going to affect us with delays at your part, eh? Sure, sure. But I mean, it's, it's obviously you know, an issue that needs to be taken on board when this work is being done. Uh, was there a question? Sorry, no, I didn't mean to cut you off. I overheard, I overheard, uh, Mr. Rowlands. Why did they all build those parts first? Sorry. Sorry, who are you, sir? John Rowley. John Rowley, yes. The ball club and the football club build it first. Do that part first. Yes. So, so it's a thing that can be looked at. Absolutely. It's an issue that can definitely be looked at. 
But if we done together, if we do other management fees, so it could be done more value for money doing them together. So I'm say not saying it can't be looked at, but why, why it was done together was to get more, more value for your money. Right, what's the pain scale all involved in that? Copies. It'll be finished by March. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 the point is that the invoices need to be the invoices need to be in place for the Could I just say that the community centre here in Bernati that was built a few years back had a four year consultation period. And in that four year period, all the money that was allocated to it stayed with it. And all the community groups were invited to come along and on a regular basis. Were they funded by School Scotland? They were funded by various groups. Were they, were they? And I can't remember which ones at the moment. So, so when you bid into a fund, it comes with a set of criteria. And, and, and that's criteria put on it by the Scottish Government to ensure that the money is spent in a timely fashion. So you is, might be able to is get that a model that could be examined? <coughs> well, we, we, we need to see if we could get a, a, leeway, but a leeway from Sports Scotland to allow yeah. us to, 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 can I just check just because I'm conscious of something else we are in the process of uh, upgrading the mountain bike trails there's nobody got any objections with that because that work is starting this week no go for that uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the main consensus folks but the, the point that was, <laughs> well, was made was about the mountain bike. Like, uh, yeah. well, and, and I think there isn't any concerns about the mountain bike trails being extended to the right? park. Nobody's no. got a concern about the mountain bike trails. No. No. So that worked. Everybody, just so we're clear, we that. everybody is comfortable with us moving ahead with regards to the mountain bike trails this week. No, it's it's relevant in so much as you will be able to get an extension. Very you know that. You know I don't know for certain, but you well, probably will okay. get an extension. We well, we'll need to see. We need to see. From, 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 from whom does the extension, the extension need to be applied? The sports sports. We need to speak to these on question of sport. But that's one thing. Can I just hold that? Sorry, there was. But it's actually a really important point that was made with regards to the golf club facility, because we've we've always looked at this, and I think the community has looked at this as one building. But actually what's happening is we're losing one building and we're gaining two because the other building will have toilets, public toilets available and all the time that the, green, the greenkeeper's there. So things that, that were an issue in the, in the park, things like access to public toilets, out when the, the visitor centre was closed, these issues have been addressed today. I would like, if, is, can I ask a question again with the cash to the design of the club and the change of the cell, all, all this thing. Well, I'm just trying to fill out Boston. So, so the design of the facility for the golf club, are, are we unhappy with that design right. as well? Yeah? Yes. yes. I don't know. No, I'm not the answer. You're asking a question that nobody can answer because they haven't been consulted. Uh, and therefore you're not going to get an answer to that. You're, you're going to get a consultation. That's all you know. That size you. Hold on a second. 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 I'm going to the door with us. Right. As a fact that the process was the idea paper for whatever reason. It didn't go up the library and it absolutely didn't go by the Community Council 
because Stephen and I don't want to tell a lie. If that's the case, then surely, Mark, you have to take some responsibility. I'm not saying that it's absolutely your failing, but there has been a failing. And you, you guys owe it to these guys who are here. They go to Sports Scotland, which you say to deal with, and get an extension. Uh, uh, listen, absolutely. No, sorry, I'm come back to that. Absolutely, and we will be. The first phone call tomorrow morning will be to Sports Scotland to make sure we can, that, we can, that we can keep that. And, and what I did say when I was... I feel the community is getting a wee bit blackmailed here that you guys say that. I just want to tell you how I feel, Mark, right? As a person in this community, these guys are here, we totally get the work that Kerry and Martin and the golf club, they, we get that. We all go out and help them as well. We fund it for us. We really want to help them. But I feel it's getting pushed back on us. If we hold back on us, we're going to affect them. But actually, the process was not fully for whatever reason. Let's we put it back to you guys and fix that funding so that we can do the proper process. I think that was already addressed when you made the commitment that you wouldn't throw the baby out of the bathwater and, and you wouldn't uh, act uh, parentally uh, before there was a consultation with the community. So, uh, absolutely. Uh, just on this sports moment bit, I'm not saying that we're not going to be able to get an extension for the one school and we're going to be trying to do that. It, it's just, it's not my, my gift to say that that money will be available after the end of March next year. We need to have that conversation. Can I just say, now, Mark's, Mark's laid out what, what's going to happen. That you'll have the small group, and, a, and a, that's what, three weeks? And at that, point, at that point, if the community is not happy, then we can stop the process and look at it a lot, in a lot deeper depth. The process is Mark, no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll hold my hand up and I'll say, if it was up to me, I would stop it now. But I can see where Mark's coming from. I'm not stopping it. Well, I'm, I'm not proposing anything here. I'm saying that, that would be my, my uh, that would be my judgment if you just stop it now. Because I've got a feeling that when you go for this, uh, when you go to have a look at it, you're going to, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to accept it anyway. So. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to take any more questions from here. We've got lots of questions from here. Well, any more questions from the one that there is? No. I'll take two then. You're the back, sir, and you sit down first. You've seen a few weeks' consultation. What form of the consultation? Well, I think we need to have a discussion, Ed. Well, no, no, hold on a second. I think what we said, Mark, in fairness, was that you, you, the people here tonight, would form a small group. Right. And that small group would be responsible for liaising with uh, the planners and the council and, and the, the, that, the period of consultation would be three weeks, roughly. Well, that's what you're saying, but I'm only saying what, what form will this take? Is no. it just going to be a week and going to be a wrong decision? Well, that, we well it, let, me, let, me, let me put a proposal to you. <coughs> if Lorna was to form the committee, would yeah, that right. be acceptable? <laughs> 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 that's the question. Are you confident that Lorna could form such a committee? Oh, okay. uh, Sorry? Oh, oh, I understand. Right, the, the, good, the good thing is, guys, that, and I would, not, I would propose this, that there's two or three builders in here that I would recommend that they sit in their house. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, we, need, we need to finish up sometime soon. But, uh, so we, we, there's going to be a small group. It will involve Lorna, uh, not necessarily cheering, but certainly establishing it, because that, there that might be a conflict of interest. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, it's up to you to sort of the technicalities, make sure you don't have a conflict of interest or any, anything of that nature, because otherwise that would prejudice the whole system. So a small group, which you are comfortable with by and large, and that small group ha will have a period of three weeks so that there will, there will be a, a point. to we say what that date is now? What, what, what we to come back together again? Yeah, but, but with who? With this what in time? With this group, yeah. yeah. You want to, would you like to meet again in three weeks' time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. You can get the chair. Well, come back as a chair. I don't know who the chair might be. So, yeah, yeah. 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 There will, be a, there will be a small group that will meet with the council uh, and the planners and the executives and Ian and anyone else who might be involved. If there's a chief executive who knows, they might be involved too. 
and then and then they will make their comments, and then there will be the next stage of the major consultation will be a, a, this group reconvening in three weeks. In three weeks' time. In three weeks' time. Yep. That's a very very tight schedule. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, is that generally acceptable? Yeah. yeah. No. no. Just be, be careful though. What happens if there's no agreement and three weeks? Well, you, you, it doesn't. Stop. You see, it doesn't go ahead. Doesn't go ahead. So, so just there's one principle that comes out here. We've got to do it together as a community. Uh -huh.